I have the Samsung Galaxy A14 and I'll be showing you how to add the Arabic keyboard onto this phone. Now I'm going to show you two methods. One is for people using the Samsung keyboard and secondly I'll show you how to add the Arabic keyboard for people using the Gboard or the Google keyboard. So let's start with the Samsung keyboard users. Go to settings, that takes you to the main settings page. Scroll down to general management, tap on that. And then since we have Samsung keyboard as our default keyboard, we should see Samsung keyboard settings. Okay, so tap on that. And then go to languages and types, tap on that. And then go to, so as you can see, currently we have only English UK. Okay, so just go to manage input languages, tap on that. And then look for Arabic, here it is. Tap on that to enable the Arabic language. If it's not available, then it's gonna give you the option to download, okay? But since it's available on mine, all I need to do is enable Arabic, okay? So now with Arabic enabled, you should see it in the list, ne just next to the other language that was there. And so from now on, when you go to an app that requires a keyboard, like this one, you can switch between this English UK keyboard and the Arabic keyboard by tapping on this little globe icon. So just tap on that and it's gonna switch to the Arabic keyboard and you can type in Arabic, okay? To switch back to the normal English keyboard, just tap on that and it takes you back to English, okay? So for the Google keyboard users, again, go to settings. On the main settings page, scroll down to general management, tap on that. And since we have Gboard as our, as our default keyboard, tap on Gboard settings. And then from here, just go to languages at the top there and then add keyboard, okay? And then choose the keyboard you want to add. So here's Arabic, so tap on that and then choose what type of Arabic keyboard you want to add. So there are a couple of Arabic keyboards. You have Algerian, Bahrain, Chad, Egypt, all these Arabic keyboards. So let me, let me, for instance, choose Iraq, okay? So select that and then tap on done. So as you can see, the Arabic keyboard has been added to our keyboard. So now you can hit the back button all the way back to the home screen. And now every time you want to use the Arabic keyboard in Gboard, just go and bring up the keyboard. This is the Gboard keyboard. Tap on the globe icon as well. So tap on that to switch between languages. And now, as you can see, we have that language. And you can always switch between the different languages by tapping on that globe icon. And that's basically how to add the Arabic keyboard on your Galaxy A14 for both Samsung keyboard and Google keyboard. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.